हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब एंड फेसबुक चैनल टू डे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू पीपल अबाउट हाउ टू कॉन्टैक्ट अ प्रोफेसर इन इंटरनेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी आई विल डिस्कस सम पॉइंट्स विद यू एंड दीज पॉइंट्स विल बी शोन इन योर स्क्रीन एंड यू कैन मेक योर नोट्स एज वेल so uh, uh, let's start uh, uh, about these points so the first one uh, is uh, the email you sent to an unknown professor is a formal letter and you should be written with utmost care uh, so 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 this the first point is uh, always deal uh, like a uh, uh official letter you are going to send to a uh, uh, professor is just not like a conversation like uh, you, you you find a professor in your field and uh, you are just going to say him hello who are you what are you doing and uh, blah 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 so um, always always uh, uh, consider it like an an official letter you are going to send him so so that's why uh, it is very important for you uh, uh, to write the letter uh, just like a letter uh, you are going to request some higher authority and the second point is take your time to search the internet for possible supervisors try to gather as much information as possible about his her research work before you write your first email so as i discussed yet uh, it's your official contact to a uh, professor so uh, so you need to have uh, to spend uh, some time on uh, on studying his profile uh like it's not uh, not like that uh, you have find a uh, a professor on the internet maybe on the university website as uh, on on the faculty profile um uh, but you also have to read his recent uh, research activities uh maybe his research projects uh, you can find it on google scholar his recent publications uh also on the website you can uh, you can follow uh, uh his, his his most recent projects uh, and and write your email according to that project like uh, you have interest in the project which is uh, still in progress in your lab so somebody who who will uh, who will study your request and uh, he he will see that you have a lot of work on me like you have studied my profile you have studied my re- research publications you have studied my uh, uh, recent uh, projects so it it will have have a a, a positive impact on your uh, uh, first contact with the supervisor so the third point is uh, never ever send one inquiry to several addresses at a time um uh, it's is a common uh, mistake and uh, uh, maybe you already have uh, known about it like uh, we have written the same uh, email content content and uh, uh, to save our time <coughs> we send that uh, content to a lot of supervisor uh, even in the same department in the same lab and in the same research group so uh, it's just like uh, uh, i have received a request from a student i'm just giving an example um i received uh, the request and i am going to study maybe it's a break time or uh, it's just an uh, our gathering we are uh, sitting in our department and i just shared that i have received a request from a student uh, uh uh, uh he is uh, just finished his master degree from pakistan and i'm going to discuss to my colleague who is sitting next to me and uh, 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 most of the time uh, they uh, hire a candidate by uh, some discussions maybe you have a, a, a interview uh, with committee panel there are four to five people so if you have sent the same email to all these four to five people and uh, it will have a negative impact on your application 
सो अगेन आई एम रीडिंग द पॉइंट इट्स जस्ट लाइक नेवर एवर सेंड वन इंक्वायरी टू सिवरल एड्रेसिस लाइक यू हैव रिटर्न द सेम ई मेल बेस्ड अपॉन ऑन दी ऑन द रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज ऑफ अ पर्सन बट यू हैव सेंट द सेम कॉन्टेंट टू ऑल अदर फोर टू फाइव पीपल यू यू कैन सेंड दैम ऑल्सो बट आफ्टर सम टाइम नॉट एट द सेम टाइम यू हैव सेंट टू मी अ रिक्वेस्ट फॉर दिस ओपोविजन बट आई डिडेंट गिव यू रिस्पॉन्स इन फोर टू फाइव डेज then you can request to another supervisor in the same group in the same research lab with his recent uh, research activities by changing the content of your email so uh, let's move to to the next point uh, pay attention to the header subject of your email the header should tell the recipient what the message is all about right for example phd research on the topic xyz so uh, in in most of the cases like uh, if a professor has a lot of uh, email uh, uh, request from the students all over the world uh, so you also know about it like uh, uh, in our inbox uh, whenever a new email comes to us uh, there is uh, only subject appears with the message with your name so always write your subject header uh, in an appropriate way uh, like uh, you you are contacting him uh, for the supervision for the phd admission uh, for the funding so uh, think about it while writing your email subject as well then uh, start your message with a formal address the best way to address a professor is dear uh, professor name okay dear uh, is 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 the common word you can use and uh, after after dear you can uh, write his her name uh, uh, with the salutation like uh, 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 definitely uh, all the professor in the world has a, a phd doctor so you can write dear doctor uh, michael like uh, if i am giving my example uh, although i am not uh, uh, in that position right now uh, but just for an example uh, you can write dear dr tanveer riaz so uh, you can also write like uh, uh, dear tanveer riaz is also okay uh, but uh, calling him with his uh, designation is is more appropriate uh, as for my experience uh, you can also write him uh, as far as his position dear professor michael like this so uh, start your email with this so uh, i suggest you to avoid writing like uh, most respectfully uh with with uh, with respect dear doctor like these words so uh, this is not uh, uh, usable in all all over the world except pakistan in <laughs> in pakistan we we are using this to uh, uh, you people know very well uh, most respectfully with most worthy these kind of words uh, are are not uh, uh usable in in your formal letter just write dear dr michael uh, for example okay so uh moving to the next point which is uh, do not start your email by inquiring about the recipient's health and well being the same thing as uh, i just uh, uh, let you know uh then uh, this may be perfectly polite in your own culture in western countries it sounds a bit strange if you do not know the addresses personally western appreciate messages which are more to the point and thus there is no harm in starting with i tend to you uh, i'm giving an example how you can start your message i tend to you in search of for a supervisor for my phd research in the field of x y z on the topic of x y z so uh, this is a way how can you start your uh, uh, email uh, 
like you 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 cannot write uh, 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 asking uh, his health uh, about uh, his uh, his doing well and blah 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 which we mostly write uh, in our culture uh, whenever we contact to uh, uh, supervisor professor like this but in western culture uh, they like if you are more to the point uh, contacting him just uh, uh, let him know about uh, what's your concern uh, start uh, with 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 uh, with the more effective way okay and the example is i turn to you in search for a supervisor so it's your start of the email okay so uh, let's move to the next point uh, I'm, I'm reading these points uh, uh, which i have uh, collected from here in uh, in Europe, uh, one of uh, my most senior uh, colleague here, um, uh, after discussing him and his experience about eight to ten year in academic uh, in Europe, so so this these are the most appropriate point. While uh, also I have worked on it uh, based on my previous experience uh, uh, from my master degree, as uh, it was also. Uh, on fully funded scholarship from China and now um, based upon my PhD uh, degree or, uh, or this position. So uh, this is all about our experience how we contacted to professors in effective way and also some other uh, uh, seniors who are here and uh, doing an excellent work in their fields. So the next point is uh, 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 the common mistake in contact letters is that the applicant is not precise enough about his her purpose so this is uh, the common mistake as uh, uh, I, I i just explained in the previous point as well so uh, uh, in in your email you are not as much uh, appropriate about your purpose uh, you are writing or making uh, confusions uh, to the reader. So, uh, um, as 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 uh, my experience or as for uh, some other seniors, so it is better to uh, split your email in three paragraphs. So, the first paragraph uh, is related to your introduction. Uh, uh, who are you? Okay, why why you are contacting him? And the second uh, uh, paragraph uh, is uh, just like uh, you are discussing your research and similarities, your interest with the recent research activities, projects of the supervisor. So basically in second paragraph, uh, you, uh, you are discussing your uh, uh, previous research activities and uh, the professor's recent the activities with each other uh, you you are letting him know that you also have done the work on this field and uh, you are also doing uh, uh, the project which is quite similar to my previous research so this is just like uh, you are giving uh, uh, him uh, uh, the knowledge about your interests and in the last paragraph the third paragraph is uh, related to your request uh, so, uh, what's your purpose? Uh, why are you contacting him? Uh, so, you, you can explain the purpose of your contact in the last paragraph. Like uh, you make a request that uh, uh, please accept me in your research group and uh, uh, give me further directions, further uh, 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 ways how can I be there uh, to start my uh, master's degree or my uh, doctoral degree with you. Uh, then uh, the next uh, point is always attach a CV and a draft research proposal with your uh, email. So uh, uh, these are the two attachments like uh, most of uh, 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 the common question I have received these days like what we have to attach with our email. So most of the time the, uh, the CV may be effective. But if you have the research proposal written already, which is uh, uh, in, in con contact or have some similarities with the research of, your, of the supervisor uh, whose you are going to send an email, then you can attach the proposal as well. 
इफ़ यू कैन राइट आ प्रपोजल रिलेटिंग टू हिज रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज़ दैन इट्स आल्सो वेरी इफेक्टिव बट इफ यू हैव अ डिटेल्ड सी वी डिटेल्ड सी वी मीन्स यू हैव रिटर्न योर योर रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज योर पब्लिकेशंस योर कॉन्फ्रेंस प्रेजेंस एज वेल एज मे बी योर प्रोजेक्ट्स हु इज गोइंग uh in your lab as well or maybe in your country uh there so uh, make a detailed cv maybe 4 to 5 pages um then you can also send the uh, a cv as well to him but if you have a research proposal well written research proposal and it is related to the research activities of that professor then you can also attach uh, the proposal uh, with your email okay uh, the next point uh, pay attention to the conclusion of your message uh, the, the last point okay the last uh, paragraph as i explained you uh, uh, you can uh, split your email in three paragraphs and the last paragraph is most important conclude it very well with the purpose well explained and the request you are going to make to the supervisor or professor uh, then make sure you proofread your inquiry before sending it okay this is the most important point as i also have done some mistakes while sending the professor the mistake was uh, uh, you are sending the email to uh, uh, to david okay for example uh you have uh, copied the email of david but you have written dear dr michael the name is different but the email address is different so always always pay attention on your content and proofread it while sending it uh then uh, the last point uh which is do not use these things in your email uh i will discuss one by one uh these are the point which uh, uh you you cannot use in your email okay uh, use color letters colored background or an unusual font okay maybe like uh, you have started making headings giving highlights like this this is so is an inappropriate method to send the email then add any picture or animations it, it is also in appropriate way use any teenage slang or uh, corrupted english like uh, while we are sending text hope you are good like you are good so so these are uh, uh, inappropriate okay the first point is Uh, always consider it's an official letter and you have to write uh, official uh, officially okay um, frequently start sentences uh, with sir or madam so every time you are starting the paragraph with sir or madam it's also inappropriate flatter the recipient like i know that you are one of the most renowned professor in the world so leave these things okay uh these are not uh, usable in 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 international universities like uh, you you are making him proud and proud in every line so uh, avoid these kind of uh, messages okay so these are are the uh, points uh, which you have to do i have discussed uh, firstly and then you do not have to do Uh, uh i think these are the most uh, important things uh, before sending the email to a professor you must have some uh, 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 some kind of uh, writing experience if you do not have the experience you can discuss this thing with your colleague with your friend uh, who is good in english so uh, i hope uh, you will have a better communication with the professors all over the world if you have any question you can contact me uh maybe uh, by commenting uh, to this video or uh, you can send text in in, in the inbox and uh, our team uh, will uh, respond you um, um, whenever they have a time okay uh, so see you in the next time take care bye bye